So is your payment too high? Maybe it isn't the price of the property, perhaps it's the interest rate. So today let's talk about the top ways that you can get the interest rate you're looking for to make sure that property or that project or that home is gonna be affordable to you. Everybody, my name is Justin Udy with Justin Udy and Team Real Estate. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the top ways that we're essentially saving on interest rates and how they can help you. So first and foremost, I know it sounds silly but what I want you to do is that you're really going to have to boost up your credit score. Did you know that when you have a better credit score, you actually have a lower risk factor? When you have a lower risk factor, they offer you actually better interest rates. So that puts you in the top tier of the less risk people where you're able to get a great interest rate. Number two is give a higher down payment. Not only is it just that you're obviously putting a higher down payment, it lowers the amount of your mortgage, so the payment naturally is gonna be lower, but again, it lowers your risk for the lender. You're putting more money down, therefore you are a lower risk and they offer you a better interest rate. Third thing is shop your lenders, shop your bank. Every different lender and every bank, they tend to have rates that are similar, but they do have incentive programs. So one of the quick tricks I will tell you, shop the lender at the same moment on the same day. Interest rates change day by day, so shop them on the same day. Another thing is, is assumable loans. Sometimes interest rates on an assumable loan, you might be able to assume because that interest rate is maybe three and a half, four, four and a half. Bet there is some caveats and some things to consider, but go to our other videos to look at the, the details on assumable loans and so forth. The other item that I want you to consider is a buy down the interest rate. Consider asking for closing costs that will assist in buying down that interest rate. There's different types of buy downs, something called a 321 buy down, a 21 buy down, or you're just buying down that rate for one full point. Example, interest rate at seven and a half, I want a full one time buy down rate for the full time of the loan. So I'm buying it down, let's call it to six and a half, six and a quarter. Depending on the lower the rate, the more the cost. Six and a quarter would be more. 6% would even be more you'd have to get in order to buy down your interest rate. And finally, kind of the most, kind of more of a bonus one, if you do seller financing, guess what? You can ask for the interest rate you want. In fact, you could say, I just want to do interest only payments. You could say, I want a low interest rate. You kind of set the terms that you'd like. And we've done all of these with our buyers, with our sellers, with our investors and buying homes. So if you have questions about how can I lower interest rate? What are maybe some of the economics around it? What are some strategies that maybe you would do in working with me? Please let us know. We're an open book. We're here to help you. And we look forward to seeing you soon.